increasing expenditure with targeted primary prevention and quality of care. There is no other country in the world expending more in healthcare than the United States. Increased spending in the U.S. has not been translated into improved life expectancy as compared to other high-income countries. The majority of healthcare expenditure among the U.S has been primarily attributed to hospital care related conditions and minimally to preventive health care services. Obesity is the most important preventable risk factor and contributing to major U.S. morbidity and mortality. The major global epidemic of obesity has been also linked to cardiovascular disease, cancer, and premature mortality while remaining a common associated adverse related risk factor for in-hospital related conditions. To aggravate matters further, individuals in the U.S. remain uninsured with increased numbers of underinsured, particularly among employer health plans. With increased out-of-pocket cost of care impacting both choice and access to health services, uninsured and underinsured individuals are continuously impacted by limited options based on the high expenditure required to access an insurance plan able to address their health needs. Furthermore, transparency in cost of care is far from being universally understood across the healthcare community of the United States. Obesity is the result of a multifactorial entity affected by individuals plus community and geographical influences. The continuum of variability in access to preventive services among the health system can be palpated in the variation of metabolic disease across different counties within a close mileage radius. The complex mixed U.S. health system has delayed its transition pathway towards a universal healthcare model that in which all have access to quality health services without individual or financial hardship. Strictly speaking, the main role of universal health care is to approach medical, non-medical services and infrastructure that is required to promote public health. Arguments favoring universal health care include ethical and moral, based on the principles of right conduct and distributive justice, acceptance of health as a fundamental human right, acknowledgement that healthy populations are more socially cohesive and politically stable, and social benefits of disease prevention translated to economic well-being at the individual and macroeconomic level. Challenges identified in the implementation of universal health care include defining scope and boundaries. The World Health Organization provides a broad definition in which all individuals in the full spectrum of essential quality health services from promotion to prevention, treatment, rehabilitation, and palliative care. In order to best define and project the realization of universal health care, a three-dimensional approach including population, services, and direct cost has been incorporated as the quote-unquote standard frame of reference for countries to follow. However, this frame of reference does not include the role of quality of services provided, methods for performance improvement, and the transparency of individual experiences. Addressing and preventing a multifactorial disease such as obesity beyond the walls of inpatient or outpatient health systems might require county-specific interventions resulting in increased investment within the boundary of primary health prevention. The National Health Services in the United Kingdom has implemented universal health care and despite the upfront focus on high quality via prevention, priority setting, performance monitoring, integrated, coordinated care, and regulation, continues to struggle with under budget requirements to achieve high performance measures as compared to other similar high income countries with also universal health care. Defining the scope of the universal healthcare package with focused targets such as ensuring protections against obesity 
requires understanding of the socioeconomical factors, which at the same time might be able to explain geographical variations. Prevention and modification of obesity warrants geographic specific frames of reference requiring engagement of the community and local stakeholders. Important considerations for universal healthcare implementation include exclusion of ineffective services and expansion of priority services, inclusion of the disadvantaged, low income and rural populations, in addition to reduction of out-of-pocket payments. Access to high quality standards in preventive services will involve increased expenditure of resources beyond caregivers, clinics, and hospitals in the underserved areas as, such as food security, walkable cities, and upstream educational services that are in need to be aligned with the common goal of preventing obesity-related cardiometabolic disease. The comparisons between health-specific conditions among systems that care for populations already impacted by unfavorable social determinants of health needs to also be revisited. Factors such as access to care, understanding of disease, interaction within the health system, particularly among individuals suffering from chronic illness, might require ongoing crosstalk with universal healthcare initiatives to avoid emergency visits and hospital care related costs. In conclusion, increasing investment on healthcare by geographical needs, focus on prevention beyond clinical settings and quality of care is a solid platform that justifies both public health and health system integration and transition to a tax based funded universal healthcare the model. Incorporating universal healthcare in the United States across a population challenged by educational access, widespread obesity, and metabolic associated chronic disease is an opportunity to upstream quality and primary prevention as the top priority for generations to come.